How many times are we at the shed or standing around a recent harvest and we say phrases like, Look at that rack on that buck. He must be at least four or five years old. Or we might even say, That's an old deer. Look how gray he is. But gray hair and antler size do not accurately reflect the age of any deer. To age a white-tailed deer with certainty, the best method is to pull a lower incisor, root attached, and send it to a laboratory for cross-sectioning. By staining the teeth and counting the rings on the teeth, the lab can more accurately date the age of the animal, much like counting rings on a tree. This process is called cementum annuli aging, which takes time and money, but this is not the only way to age a deer. There's another technique based upon tooth wear and replacement patterns. Since most deer are born from mid-May to mid-June, their ages in the fall will be 6 months, 18 months, 30 months, 42 months, etc. A deer that's 6 months old is called a fawn, 18 months old a yearling, anything older is considered an adult. Before I show you how to age a deer using tooth replacement and tooth wear, there are some terms that I think you should know. Enamel is the white part of the tooth that covers all parts of newly emerged teeth. Dentine is the brown part of the tooth under the enamel and as the enamel wears away, more dentine becomes visible. Dentine is not to be confused with the brown staining which builds up on the surface of the enamel. A cusp is a point on the grinding surface of the tooth. The deer molars either have two or three cusps. The lingual crest is at the top of the cusp on the tongue side of the tooth. Teeth can be characterized into two parts. Premolars, which are the first to be replaced and are considered to be baby teeth, much like in children. And then there are molars, which emerge only one time and are not replaced. An adult deer has six teeth, three premolars and three molars. Anything less than that is a fawn. So the first step is to count the teeth. If there's less than six, then the deer is six months old and it's a fawn. If there are six teeth, then it could be possible that the deer is a yearling. A one and a half year old deer has six teeth, but is in the process of replacing the front three teeth or the premolars, which are the deer's baby teeth. Let's take a look at the difference between a one and a half year old and a two and a half year old by looking at a doe that I harvested during shotgun season. This deer has six teeth, so we want to look at the third tooth to determine if it's still a baby tooth or not. A baby tooth will have three cusps, which is the case here, meaning that the deer is one and a half years old. After finding this buck dead shed hunting, we took a look at the jawbone and found that there are six teeth. So we moved on to the third tooth and found that it had two cusps, making it an adult deer, which is at least two and a half years old. As you can see, the premolars aren't stained, which means that they just came in and there's not a lot of wear on the third and sixth tooth, which are the two newest teeth in the deer's jaw, putting this deer at two and a half years old. If you don't believe me, take a look at the lab results, which also confirmed the age of two and a half. In determining the age of a deer that's older than three and a half years old, Let's take a look at my late muzzleloader hunt in which I have an old doe that comes out into the middle of a field. Burp. After harvesting this doe, I remove the lower jawbone. This doe is old and we can tell by starting at the fourth molar, which is the oldest tooth in the deer's jawbone. If the dentine is two times wider than the enamel, then we add a year and move to the next tooth. If the same is true on the fifth, we move to the sixth, adding a year, in which we end up with a deer that's at least five and a half years of age. The lab results came back on this doe with an astonishing age of eight and a half years old. Now that you have a better grasp, I'd like you to give a try on some deer that we've harvested this year. This buck here we call Boomerang.
Gala harvested this buck with her bow in late November. After removing the jawbone, what do you see as the deer's age? The results came back and Boomerang was three and a half years old. Look at this buck, the Brow Tine 9. Huge Brow Tines on this 9 point buck push its gross score to around 150 inches. This beautiful buck was taken by my uncle Buddy Vanderholt during second season shotgun. How old do you think Buddy's buck is? The lab results confirmed that the Brow Tine 9 was a mature, impressive four and a half year old buck. Typically as a deer gets older, he gets bigger antlers, more mass, and more character. The pitchfork buck has all of those qualities, which would indicate that he is an old mature deer. After looking at the tooth wear, is pitchfork the old deer that he appears to be? Surprisingly, pitchfork is only three and a half years old. The biggest buck that we had on camera was a buck named Megatron, which I had the great fortune of harvesting during bow season in the middle of the Iowa rut. This buck scored out to be almost 170 inches. With that big of a rack, anybody could assume that this deer was more than mature. Does he look as mature as his antler size? After seeing that this deer is only three and a half years old, I cannot imagine how big he would have gotten. I hope you've enjoyed learning about deer aging and will find it helpful the next time someone asks you, how old is that deer?